Let's take a look at this guy, chilling on a chair. Let's build a cafe around him. Bam! Cozy vibes. Maybe afraid to join? How about some mode light? Easy, right? That's how we can draw a figure and complete a scene with it. Let's take a look at the second one. Simply drawing a figure in dynamic pose, then drive waves around it to make it a surfing scene. There are seven more dynamic poses in this video. This video is all about turning basic shapes into cool scenes. Check it out. First thing first, let's talk about proportion. When you draw any figure, head to toe, the length of an adult should be seven or eight times of the head. So let's make a line and divide it into eight part. And then draw the figure, draw the head and slowly draw the body. Now, if you draw a child, the head to body proportion will not be seven or eight times. It would be four to five times. And remember, child head is larger comparing to an adult. So let's draw a child here. And as you can see, there should be four to five aspect ratio from, for head to body. Let's start painting this. I'm just using burnt sienna for the skin tones for the adult and the child. I'll use the same color to draw the jacket. Just add a little bit of darker value. Um, I have used a little bit of burnt sienna mixed with ultramarine. Just make it darker, doesn't matter. While they are wet, I'll try to take the advantage of wet and wet effect. Use thick paint with a dry brush stroke to draw the paint. Just leave them a little bit unfinished, lost and found edges. I'll draw the head now, just quickly with the tip of the brush. I'll make this head a little bit larger because this is a kid. And I'll draw t shirt Instead of making them white, just use lavender color. I will use neutral tint now just to paint the darks and shadows. Paper is wet, so I need to make sure my paint is thicker than the paint on the paper so that it doesn't create any cauliflower effect. That's pretty much all. So, in this portion, we have seen how to draw figures, making the making the proportion correct. And don't forget to download the free PDF ebook I have created regarding the figure printing. The link is in the description.
Now let's take a look at proportion with human with pet. Just catching a guy walking his pet dog here. Just quickly sketching it. Um, not showing that in detail, just to save time. Now let's start painting on it. Just use a grey. You can make this grey with anything, combination of any warm and cool. I'm using neutral tint. And uh, the shorts with probably different color. Uh, this is blue. And the skin tones. or drawing pet dog or cat you need to make sure the proportion is right don't make it too large or too small usually the dogs are below the knee level unless there's a very large one and do not draw that one in detail in in when you draw the landscape just quickly have a little bit of darks and light com combination so that it just forms a shape so that you can a little bit understand here with little bit of dark values in the eye nose and down in the leg it just created the illusion of a pet dog this is what you need to remember Grey is a safe colour to draw the clothing. When you draw the shadow, try to make it crisp and clear. And just below the hat, I'll just make it darker. This guy is probably holding a phone or coffee cup, whatever is that. And in the shorts, I'll make it a bit of darker, just to play the light and shadow game. And I'll just finish it off with very little bit of details. And that's all. Drawing a figure with pet. And that's the proportion. Let's talk about perspective and then touch base. I have discussed that one in my previous video. If you haven't watched it, please go and check my first video. So let's draw a horizon line there. That's an eye level. That means when you see a person, that's a level that person's eye would be. And now draw the ground. So make this one as eye level person's first person's eye the person at the very front and just 
slowly just draw a figure. Now, any people or any person you draw after that, everyone would be the same eye level. So, as you can see that, the person is further, will be shorter, but the head will be at the same place, any ear eye level. Like this. Let's paint this. First I will draw their faces, just to make sure every, everyone is on the same level. Then I will draw their jackets, coats or clothing, whatever I have. You can try different sort of colors in there. Uh, when you draw the legs, sure they are a little bit darker. And then probably you can do the negative painting to draw the background. I'm just doing that one very quickly in here, how you can do that one. Just making it a little bit darker as well. And now when they're dried, you can draw the jackets with different colors or clothing with different colors, different. This one probably the lavender, the other one probably I can do some turquoise. And this one red and do some accessories jacket and to the shadow connecting them together that's all you can draw that one really in a nice way but this is just a demonstration to the highlights i'm using a ac acrylic pen you can use that one too and that's the final result all right now the next one this one is a man riding horse dynamic pose but here is another proportion is there the horse and man when you draw the horse the most important part of the horse is their legs and their ear so they're pointy Let's paint that. I'll start with burnt sienna. Just light wash. I will do the same same hue for the horse and the man's face. I'll add a little bit of burnt umber and I'll just do a simple light wash first. Then I'll be doing the shadow, the darker values. I'll be using blue, ultramarine blue. Sometimes I will be adding a little bit of burnt sienna or uh, raw sienna mixed together just to have a little bit of varieties on the skin As you can see, I'm using lots of dry brush marks here and there. This is where the dynamic movement comes along. Do some dry brush marks or sometimes wet like that. I'll do some splatter probably here. Use the dynamic movement of the horse see this is how you can use the dynamic movement with the use of your color sometimes dry brush or sometimes wet
And that's our dynamic figures with riding horse. That made a good scene. Okay, now next one. Let's draw a guy sitting on a chair. Just quickly. There you go. Now let's paint it. I will use French Ultramarine and Elysian Crimson to make the purple. Let's paint face with burnt sienna. And hair with burnt umber and bit of neutral tint mix. I'm slowly, slowly completing just one figure, just sitting on a cafe. And then from here, I will build the scene, step by step. I don't have any plan, I don't have any reference at the moment. I'm just drawing a figure. Okay, the figure is done. What I will do, I will add another figure, just facing other way. Just quickly draw that one. I will mix a little bit of Chinese white neutral trend and ultramarine with the previous purple color. And then I will paint that. I'll paint face and hair. Now I'll draw other furnitures in the cafes, chairs and uh, coffee machines, something like that. Just random. Probably another guy sitting far near the window. And I will just paint here with the burnt sienna. I don't know how it will be looking like, so what I will do, I will simply make it abstract with water. This is what you can do. You don't need to draw everything realistic. You can leave something for abstract. So I will just paint that one a bit darker. I'm trying to mix up warm and cool together so that I can draw some light shadows here and that uh, pops up against the warm. Let's, I don't know how coffee mission looks like. Let's draw something like square and whatever is that. As long as a suggestion and people can guess okay let's do the outside window make it wet and drop some cadmium orange and burnt sienna mixed autumn foliage this is a Chinese calligraphic brush you can use it abuse it no problem 
drop some cadmium red now and probably I need a little bit of uh, green yep here and there just make autumn foliage outside the window and draw the stem dry brush stroke Draw some hanging light, just with yellow ochre. I'll just do the bottom part of the light. And now I'll do the window. I'm just being a little bit careful because I need to do the negative painting around this guy. And I'll need to leave a little bit of white for the highlights just be careful and let's do some buildings which can be seen through the window let's do that one in the other end make these the values should be darker so that it just covers up the background and with the dry brush stroke let's do the windows of the far buildings and make the sky a little bit of blue and now let's do the hanging lights These are the signature mark of the cafe. Do another one in here. They don't need to be perfect. You just do the suggestions that the people understand. Uh, let's do three. That's fine. And put some darks in here and there. Let's make this one darker. So the whole thing pops up. Make this one darker too. Let's do the gentleman over there. Probably reading a newspaper, sitting beside the window. I'm using gouache, white gouache paint for sm some smoky environment. Just creating some mystery near the coffee machine as well. Doing some highlights, and that's it. So here you can see how I started with just simply one figure and then slowly built another figure, another figure, window, cafe, hanging lights, everything. And didn't come out that bad. Okay, this one we will start with a <clears throat> dynamic pose of a surfer. So, just paint to the burn sienna first. What I will do, I will draw this, the whole scene, but starting with just one simple figure. This is something 
he can do. So as usual, I'll just draw the shorts with the blue. Uh, this is the first initial wash, so I wouldn't worry about anything with the detail and stuff. So we can take care of that one later. So just do the some do some darks and stuff. Just quickly finish it off. So you remember when you incorporate any figure with any scene, if your figure is not something you really want to highlight. So just draw that one very loosely because when you do the whole scene that will make sense. So I'll just wet the whole around so I will just draw paint with cobalt blue, drop some burnt sienna in there, raw sienna and I'll drop probably some uh, cobalt turquoise and draw some fresh water there so that I can add some other uh, complementary colors like orange or light burnt sienna or something like that. I'll add a little bit of, these a little bit of cerulean blue I have added there. And a bit of warm color in there. So I will be creative about this thing. Splashes lots of dynamic movements of the waves and um, just play with the colors and stuff like darks and lights just play with them just to remember if you want to highlight this you have to put the foreground darker so that your subject as a surfer that will pop up and your background will be very lighter just draw the surfboard And that's pretty much making sense slowly. I'll finish it off with some uh, dry brush stroke with darker cobalt blue to cobalt turquoise these are the ones that will uh, that will show up in the painting uh, that will work like your brush stroke or something like that and I'll little bit do the detailing stuff now at this stage when everything is dried up and that's pretty much all this is how you can just simply a figure and uh, get some dynamic scene out of that one and once your light wash been done then everything is clear this one I will just start with two people two people just holding a boat just quickly sketch that one not too fussy about that one just a little bit of gesture of two people just pulling a boat after fishing is done let's draw with the red one cadmium red I will just draw the cadmium red this guy see I am using very loose brush stroke and then I'm just using the water to spread the colors throughout the body See the leg gesture, how that is, and uh, the red top gentleman is a little bit leaning forward. So that will tell um, the story about what this dynamic pose is doing. I'll just use some yellow ochre, some red, whatever in my color palette. I'll just put that one into draw the shoreline and then I will draw the water in there I'll, these these white spaces are left for the waves in watercolor it's better if you can leave the light colors out 
use it for use it for highlight just draw the boat not specific about any colors see I haven't I don't have any reference for these ones I'm just completely making it up so try something like that just use your imagination just start with the blob of colors and make a gesture any sort of thing then you can make picture out of that one just try to make scene out of that one anything so let's draw the hat Put the darks wherever it is needed so when the initial colors is started lighting up then you start using those dark values inside unless you put the dark values inside many of your figures or your scenes or your landscape won't make any sense probably so you have to put the dark later on to define it. Let's draw the water now. Just using cobalt blue as usual. And I'll drop some shadow for the boat where it touches the water. See how it is mixing up in the wet and wet. Just using some random values over here, but I'm just keeping that mind that I'm drawing some waves in front, so behind the wave needs to be a little bit of darker. Some texture, and I'm not worrying about the background. Whatever it is, just just quickly just draw something just put some colors in and that's it sometimes this kind of quick sketches they comes turns out really really beautiful then you can make them you can use these sketches in your in your large piece or you can probably paint that one in a larger way and make that one as main piece so let's draw some waves around there and just a little bit background, just a little bit. I'm not doing anything, I'm just filling the colors in. Just putting some dark values in the foreground and just behind the lightest part of the waves so that the lighter highlights they pops up like in here I'll do start doing some detailing work now uh, a bit of like ropes and all of this stuff with the darker values I'm using synthetic brush uh, the tiny one it, uh, you can use the rigor one I just can't be bothered to at the moment now and as everything is dried up now so now I can put some brush mark over here doing some darks and giving some suggestion 
and you can see the scene is uh, making sense slowly started making sense now I forgot to put probably yeah we can do something like that the engine in the back now I will just use some acrylic paint you can use white gouache I'll just these are for highlights and uh, I'm almost done what I will do I'll probably uh, use some more white Chinese white colors down at the bottom with the waves crashing on the beach uh, after finishing these ones just a little bit of highlights not too much and just put some white Chinese white colors in there and that's pretty much all I think I'm, I think I'm done and uh, yeah so here we are finished uh, all seven figures I tried to show you how you can draw a figure and uh, slowly you can build a scene around the figure the figures are beautiful they make the scene really lively so all these figures along with the ones in um, in my first videos are available in the PDF ebook free ebook please download that one I have discussed everything in details there so that you can do the practice at home thank you thanks for watching this uh, I'll see you in the next video